Hello there, poppers. Always oh, just staring straight at me. I just gave her breakfast. So she's smacking them lips. Now you can see why I can't sleep with her constantly. Feels so dark in here, as usual. Mm. I have the window open too. I guess it's not that bad. But I am just about to go out to the gun show, and this is what I'm wearing. It took me forever to figure out what I wanted to wear because uh, I'm just so picky about how I dress. I also decided to straighten my hair today. I haven't straightened my hair in a very, very, very long time. So the main reason I decided to is because I kind of realized that with short hair like this, I don't like to curl my hair because I feel like it just makes my hair kind of poofy because of the shortness and I pinned my hair back, my bangs. So I, I tend to really like this look, but sometimes if my head gets itchy on top, then having it pinned kind of sucks because then I can't scratch it. Okay, time to go. Okay, I have finally arrived at the gun show. I'm in the parking lot right now, but uh, just really quickly wanted to talk about how <laughs> I made a turn earlier from uh, the road right off the exit from the highway and I was kind of surprised to see that people were there standing there with signs protesting against guns. I uh, didn't really expect that. I am just now leaving the gun show and I was there for about two hours maybe a little more but it was actually really really cool. Um, there were so many times where I spent a good amount of time talking to somebody who would help me out and hook me up with people they knew in other booths that could teach me or show me more weapons and handling them because as someone who has never owned one before, I don't know anything about any of that stuff. So it was really nice to have helpful people just be patient and explain everything to me. And I spent time holding handguns, uh, some rifles, because rifles, surprisingly, seem much more interesting to me now than handguns. And originally when I came here, I was thinking that I wanted a handgun in the future for self-defense. But I do think my main interest in guns would be recreational shooting. So if I did that, a rifle is way more appealing to me now after people took some time to explain it to me. But of course, they are quite pricey because if you customize them, which I would because I'm a small person, I want it to fit me very well, then it takes a lot of money. But now I have several cards for these stores and I know where I could go whenever I have the interest. But now that, now that I've been here, I might be interested in going to a shooting range soon. Right now I am watching some boxing. Earlier there was a Chinese boxer that apparently kind of was amateur. He was only 23 years old, but he lost and I didn't really watch all of it. I watched half of it and then I took Riley for a walk. And then now is one more match before Pacquiao plays. I have never watched Pacquiao box before. I did not watch the Mayweather match. I heard it was really boring and not much happened, so didn't feel like I missed out on that one. Since watching Creed, I figured maybe it would be interesting for me to tune in to some boxing here and there. And it is nice to see it in real life instead of in the movies because when the blows land, I like it when they're not obnoxious like in the movies. You know how they always make the punches sound really loud and in real life, it's not really that loud, so it's so exaggerated. I actually watched Rocky and finished it earlier today, and I didn't like it much at all. I actually don't think I enjoyed any part of the movie very well, and that surprises me to say because it seems like it's a movie a lot of people love and it's rated quite well, but I wasn't really a big fan of it. So I don't think I will be watching the second one. 
And let's look at the bag. He did pretty Milo well. Milo is round. chilling in my crotch. This is not something that happens out. very often. And he's just resting his head but over my ankle. How cute. How adorable. Wow. Where's your face? I think it's funny how my camera actually has difficulty focusing on him because he's white and the background of the couch is gray. Round two is just about to start. Round number two. Damn, Manny Pacquiao just won. He won by TKO in round seven. I am learning so much more boxing stuff. Something interesting that I've never seen before is Matisse, the former champion, took a knee in round five from taking a hard blow. And I had never seen a boxer do that before. So at first it looks like you're conceding, right? But when I looked it up, I guess it basically means that the knock, the knee counts as a knockdown and it kind of buys them time to recover from all that punishment. But this is the first time I had ever seen Manny box. So I knew nothing about him, but I did hear from my coworker that he's a very offensive boxer. And I love the way he boxes. He's just nonstop beating the shit out of you. And also, he's 39 years old. He looks so fit. He's in great shape. He's boxing so well. Like, damn, people are so crazy in these professional sports where they put in so much time and effort to be as strong as they can be. So that was really cool. Good morning. Let's see if this works better. I don't know if this is much better, but I feel like the shakiness and the instability of the camera is really annoying. So <laughs> I don't know if I should look over there, over here. Puppers, come in over here. Good, wow, you're so silly. But yes, yeah, since I haven't taken this one hiking in a while, I decided that I wanted to today. It's about almost 11 in the morning. I, I always have a lot of like annoying thoughts in my mind how I feel so adamant that I don't want Riley on a leash when I'm hiking, but for the beginning part, I'm going, I'm going to have to put her on the leash or I would prefer it because I walk by um, an RV park and I just don't want people to have any reason to bother me or pester me. I don't really want any confrontation. I know it sounds silly because you know, if someone confronts me, it's not really a big deal, but I just don't want that interaction at all. Like, I don't want to invite it by having her off leash around somebody else. So it should not be a big deal for me to just leash her for five seconds while we pass somebody. And once they're out of sight, I can take her off again. So <clears throat> yeah, I, I overthink things way too much, but uh, that's just how I am. I can't, I can't not do that. I feel like my eyes have been all over the place because I don't know what to look at. All right, I'm going to go hiking and I can't wait to be around nature. Stupid, awful mistake. And I didn't check the weather for where we were going, which turned out to be over 90. And this sucks because I drove almost an hour out here and it's definitely really hot for her. So right now we are resting in the shade but I'm not too sure how far I want to go today, especially since I have her. She's already panting. And man, it was like 80 around my house. I didn't expect the difference to be 10 plus. What the hell? But I guess the good thing is that there's nobody here, but that's probably because it's way too hot. Silly puppers. Are you all right? Mm. Hello, so I made a pit stop down in Campo to, I wanted to drive through and look at some more open space that they have around here since I happen to be here. And then I stopped to get Coke, I know, bad from Subway, but I'm really, really hot and I was really bad. I'm out of water at home and I brought hot water because that's the only clean water that I have, so I don't want to drink that right now. But yeah, Riley is finally panting less. But what's so freaking annoying is every time I take my lens cap off and put it somewhere in my car, 
gosh, like right now I can't find it. But it has to be in my car because I checked around the area where I had taken it off. I was parked on the side of the road and it's not out, it wasn't outside. I already left that area, but I just, I just don't understand how I lose it. I am in disbelief because I checked under my seat. I checked all over the fucking place. I don't know where it went. I checked in my sports bra everywhere. It's nowhere to be found. I would be so sad if I lost it because I don't want to replace it. But I am probably going to head home now because I don't know what else to do around here. I got back from my very brief hiking trip maybe about half an hour ago and something I planned on doing today which I was really not looking forward to is cleaning their litter box because Milo pisses a lot and he pretty much pees like a whole big chunk that goes very deep and it was starting to get very difficult to clean so I decided to just do an overhaul. I have a fresh 40, 30 to 40 pound bag of litter that I'm going to just refill the entire thing up with so it was so disgusting and it's so hard to clean too because the litter is very heavy and the box that I have is very painful to carry when it's like 40 pounds so I had to like put some litter in a trash bag try to like section it out but I also bathed Rylai very briefly because she was starting to feel kind of mucky her body hair and that would mean that anytime I pet her my hands would feel very grimy afterwards so I decided to bathe her today and vacuumed the floor now I'm going to refill the litter box with litter but uh, something that I wanted to spontaneously do today after coming home at like 2 o'clock and still having quite a bit of my day to myself I wanted to go to the shooting range but I have realized that very few shooting ranges let you go by yourself. Maybe it's none because I've called a few places and all of them don't rent to a single shooter because they fear you will kill yourself. And I'm kind of pissed off about that because I want to try out some guns as a single person and I'm not going to kill myself. So it just is very frustrating that I'm cock blocked by something like that rule. So I'm going to have to figure something out if I want to go to the shooting range 